cleaning messy data in Power Query, this video shows you exactly how to remove unwanted characters from your text columns. No coding, no stress. Whether it's extra spaces, symbols, or that mysterious character from a rogue data import, we'll fix it. You'll learn how to use the text.select and text.remove functions. Don't worry, it's simpler than it sounds. To clean columns without breaking a sweat, grab your spreadsheet, open up Power Query, and let's fix your data. So here I have a column of characters. We've got uppercase, we've got lowercase, numbers, and special characters. Now I'm gonna show you how to remove those special characters, but let's start off with the letters and numbers first because it's gonna make it a lot easier. So we have our column here. Let's bring this into Power Query. Here we go to data. Now let's get it from table and range. Since I selected within this range, Excel was smart enough to figure out that this is where I wanna create the table from because that's what it's gotta do first is create a table and then pull it into Power Query. Now I have it in Power Query. I'm gonna create a couple steps. And what this involves is adding a column. So click add column, custom column, not gonna give it a name. We're gonna use the text, text.remove first. So we're gonna remove characters. Open parentheses, here we're gonna select the text and we're gonna take the random string, which is the name of this column, and it's gonna do it row by row. Press comma. And what characters do we wanna remove? Let's remove our capitals first. And if we wanted to remove all capitals, like capital A, capital B, capital C, we can actually have a shortcut here. And we, what we need to do is we wanna put this into a curly bracket. So curly bracket, and within the quotes here, we'll put a capital A, and we're gonna have a range from A to Z. So we're gonna do A, we're gonna have the A in quotes, and then we're gonna put two periods, dot, dot, and then in quotes, capital Z. And that's gonna finish it off. Close the curly brackets, close the parentheses. There are no syntax errors, click OK. So it's inserted a column that has removed all the capital letters. You can see all the capital letters are removed. M is removed here, B is removed here. Anything that is capitalized has been removed. Now we can do the same for lowercase. Let's put in another custom column, add column, custom column. It'll create another column and just rename it, give it, and it'll just give it a default custom.1. And here we can also do the same thing for lowercase. So I'm gonna type text. This is case sensitive, so I have to type text, capital T, and remove, go with a capital R. And open parentheses, again, choose my random string column, comma, and what is my remove characters? Here, I want to get rid of all my lowercase. So I'm gonna type open quotes, A, and dot, dot, A to Z. So I'm gonna do open quotes, and close curly brackets, close parentheses, click OK. So here, all the lowercase has been removed in row three. But let's say I want to remove everything. I want to remove uppercase. I want to remove lowercase. I want to remove numbers. How do we do that? So what I need to do is do the same thing. Add, add column, custom column, and type text dot remove, open parentheses, random string, select that comma and open parentheses and open curly brackets. Again, we're gonna do capital A. Let's do all the uppercase ones first, dot, dot, open quotes, capital Z. Now here, if you wanted to do a bunch of arguments and let's say we wanna do the lowercase ones first, comma, open quotes, lowercase a, and then dot, dot, open quotes, lowercase z. And we wanna remove the numbers, right? So let's do that. Let's go and do a comma here. I think I did a period here, so I'm gonna remove that comma. And let's do the numbers. Numbers are gonna be the same. Have to be enclosed in double quotes. Zero, dot, dot, and then zero to nine. So that's gonna remove all the numbers here. Close curly brackets, close parentheses, click okay. Now remove all the numbers, all the letters, uppercase and lowercase, and we've got are special characters. So now that I've got my characters here, I can I know which characters to remove. If I wanted to remove all the characters here, I know that these are the ones I need to remove. I can just go to custom column. Let me bring it over here. Type text dot remove. Open parentheses. Select my random string. Comma. Okay, which ones I'm going to remove? So I'm going to have to put this into open curly brackets. What am I removing? Oh, let's see. I'm going to remove that carrot. Comma. What else I want to remove? The star, comma, 
quotes, comma, bangs, and I'll speed this up so you don't have to go through it. So I think I have most of them. Close curly brackets, close parentheses, no syntax errors, click OK. So I have a column here that has removed all the special characters. Let's see what the text.select function does. To make it easy, I'm just going to duplicate this. Right click, duplicate, and I'm going to remove all the steps here. Right click, delete until end. So it removes all those different transformation steps. Let's try the text.select. So let's say I only wanted the uppercase letters here. So I'll do the same thing, add column, custom column, and here, text.select. Let's say I just wanted to bring over the uppercase letters. So I'll click on random string, comma, and open curly brackets, double quotes, capital A, dot, dot, and then open quotes, capital Z. And let's say I just wanted to bring all the uppercase letters there, close curly brackets, close parentheses, no syntax errors, click OK. And now we have our custom column with just our capital letters. So you can do the lowercase, you can do the same thing we did if we wanted to combine it. Let's say I wanted to have all the letters. Click custom column and type text dot select, open parentheses, click my random string column, comma, and curly brackets, double quotes, capital A, dot, dot, and the open quotes, capital Z, and then comma, let's do the lowercase. Double quotes, lowercase, dot, dot, double quotes, and then the Z. Close curly brackets, close parentheses, no syntax errors. I'm going to have a column with all my letters, uppercase and lowercase. So we have a lot of variations that we can do with this. So the text dot remove and text dot select can give you a lot of options when you wanted to take different characters out of a string. Boom, characters gone, problem solved. Power Query makes it easy once you know where to click. If you got value from this, toss a like my way and subscribe so you never miss a tip.